just straight up, you're ugly. I'm no Chris Evans. <laughs> and I think my face is maybe like a six out of 10 face. I don't know, is Chris Urbano's face hot or not? I would love to hear your comments. I won't be offended. Yes, I'll be offended. <laughs> Hi, Marco Vano. So really excited to do today's vlog on mean comments because as a YouTuber, there's like a point in your YouTube career where you actually have enough people watching your video that you generate enough mean comments to make a video about it. So when I first started out and you just have like, I don't know, like 500 subscribers, people being like, you suck Urbano, I hate you. And because most people finding your content are actually wanting to find your content and watch your content and it grows very organically. But then as you get to like bigger number of subscribers and followers, then you start to get like some trolls in there or people who just want to say really mean stuff or <laughs> tear you down. And you read it and you're like, okay, yeah. I mean, you feel a bit bad about it, but I tried to see the good in it, which is that actually for me to get some mean comments, like this it must mean a lot of people are watching my show so I wanted to showcase some of today's mean comments and then if you guys agree or you can leave a comment or leave me another mean comment below or if you're one of the people who is like sending me fairly trollish comments maybe you want to leave some more down there and you know, get it all out I try to generally be a more positive person but some of these are actually quite funny and some of them are legitimate feedback so the first one here comes from Rhapsody Blue thanks Rhapsody love the name Mali 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 we Filipinos never sear our meats get out of here you're ruining the authenticity of Filipinos Filipino food. Yeah. Okay. So what I can say is I'm doing far more for the authenticity of Filipino food than most Filipinos are. I'm actually releasing my book next year, which you guys can get an advanced copy of, write me an email and we'll actually let you know when it's coming out. So I don't assume that I'm going to get everything right. I'm a foreigner, right? I didn't grow up here. We all know that. That's very clearly established. So from time to time, even if I am wrong, I think, okay, lang yun, di ba? how many foreigners do you know who've spent as much time as Chris Urbano? Magaranang wikang Pilipino. Magar yung pano magluto ng mga Filipino ulam and most Filipinos know actually tell me that you're a better chef than me of Filipino food you're a better Tagalog speaker than me of our own language so I think it's kind of like you can nitpick if one or two things I'm saying is slightly not what your experience was as a Filipino but I think it's kind of fair to say that actually I'm a big advocate for this cuisine and somebody who's actually trying to make it more authentic because you'll see that with all of my Filipino cooking I might get something wrong in the method but my ingredients are all on point we don't mess with the Filipino ingredients and show Showcasing the flavor, but you've got big Filipino food companies who are out there and they are ruining Filipino food. You know, everything is chemical additives, it's fish sauce without fish, it's soy sauce without soybeans. That's where I think your anger would be better directed if you're worried about the loss of authenticity of Filipino food. And also do something about it, right? You could make some videos. If mine aren't authentic enough, make your own and teach this new generation of Filipinos how to cook and appreciate food. So that's my advice for Rhapsody. And then he doubles down. I got a few comments, you know, you're hugely wrong when you said ampalaya is not delicious when eaten raw my grandmother used to eat it just barely put it on the fire which is cooking and mostly raw with suka and salt <laughs> So I think in my video, I said like, you wouldn't just probably bite a fresh ampalaya and eat it, like just straight off the plant. That would probably, no, you can. There's no reason why you wouldn't, but it probably wouldn't taste that great. By your own admission, your grandmother would put it on the fire, barely, but that is actually, as soon as that touches fire, she has cooked it. Even if it's still quite raw, that is like literally the process of cooking is to put it on the fire, even for 10 seconds or to sear it on the outside. And when you add sukkah and acid, you are actually preparing the meal and adding to the taste. So it's not just bitterness, you're actually introducing sourness and salt which is exactly how you prepare ampalaya you salt it and you introduce sourness and that helps to offset the pure bitter flavor so it's an interesting comment because on one hand you're telling me I'm wrong but on the other hand your grandmother was cooking her ampalaya and preparing it and then uh, yeah he's far from authentic a stupid Australian chef who thinks he knows a lot look at his face yes look at my face <laughs> I'm no Chris Evans, <laughs> that's for sure. So I am an Australian chef. I don't think I'm stupid. And I think my face is maybe like a five out of 10, six out of 10 face. I don't know. Did anyone watch that? What was that website? Are you hot or not? And you could upload your own picture and people would just rate it. And a 10 was like, you're hot. And a zero was like, you're not. And you would just get ratings. And this was like one of the most crushing things I think most people could do is upload a picture and they just get told by the world if they're hot or not. I don't know what happened to that website. Is that website still up? I think this was like, when I was in high school or like it was a late 90s, early noughties thing. Anyway, if you guys want to do that, go open Slather, just leave a number below. <laughs> 
is Chris Urbano's face hot or not, I would love to hear your comments. Just make sure it's a good sport. <laughs> Otherwise, the next vlog, I'm just gonna be there crying, having an emotional breakdown because my subscriber base didn't, I'm hot enough. Maybe that's why I haven't been picked up by ABS CBN already. <laughs> oh, and coming on to my next comment on that theme is from Nilda, just straight up, you're ugly. So Nilda, if you wanna put your score, I guess that's like automatic like one or two from you, probably a one out of 10. So thanks for the feedback. It's funny because I do get a lot of comments from people saying that I'm pogey, but it's always guys. And Nilda, I think is a, a Philippine female name saying I'm ugly, which is just great. I'm like, I think I'm like a hit with Filipino gay community. And like shout out to my gay cabanos. Like I'm not gay. I'm sorry to disappoint, but I get a lot of comments from my gay Filipino followers. And I really appreciate it. I feel very flattered in fact, when you guys tell me that. So thank you for letting me know. I'll pass that one on to my wife. Hopefully she doesn't agree with you. <laughs> Next one, toilet brush talaga kuya. They use chicken liver pot for the sauce. I think this was when I was talking about like how they make pork barbecue and what I love seeing in Cubao is like when the guys have like the improvised cooking equipment. It's like they can't afford one of those proper like culinary brushes. So they just have like a toilet brush from Ace Hardware and they're like brushing the pork barbecue with the salsa on or the basting sauce or the marinade to make it mas masarap while cooking. That one might just be we're confused about what I was talking about. So thanks for the comment and pointing it out. Next I get all capitals. There is nothing wrong with MSG. I don't know why people hate MSG so much. Do many Japanese people die because of MSG? Yeah, this is probably just philosophically a view that I don't want to put chemicals in my body. Look, big food companies have done a bunch of studies saying MSG is totally safe. And it's normally the companies producing MSG who sponsor these studies. So you go out and you get some PhD student in nutritional science who needs money and you say, we'll pay for you to get a PhD, but we need you to basically write favorable things about the effect of MSG or show non-conclusive results. And it's really about basically squid inking the issue. So you can't prove MSG is good for people, it's probably bad for people, so you just basically flood public information with everything's inconclusive, we don't really know, it can't be that bad kind of information. I guess my view is why would you take the chance and why would you want to put chemicals into your body that aren't meant to be there? Like I just look at this and go, this just isn't something that humans were really designed to eat. I feel funny when I eat it, I do feel physical symptoms. I can tell when I go to a restaurant that uses MSG, like I start to sweat, my throat starts to dry out, and if it's too much I get a headache. So. I do hate it for that reason. I don't think I should eat chemicals that give me a headache. You may not get a headache when you eat MSG, but I do get a headache and I know a lot of people who get headaches and sweats when they eat too much. And I can taste it within about three mouthfuls if I am eating a food laden in MSG. And that's not to say that I never eat it. I think in extremely low doses, it's a very fast way to add flavor to a dish. So I have two minute noodles sometimes. And when I have them, I still add a bit of the flavor packet, but I tend to only add half of the MSG sachet because it has the other flavors as well. But I know there's MSG in there and I don't don't want that gross feeling I get after eating it. So I normally halve the quantity and I find it that extremely low dose, I don't get a reaction. Next one, J4, I'm putting puti tayo, huh? you're too white. It's hard for me to go out in the sun, so I feel you. But one good thing about living in Manila is that for a maputing tao like myself, I don't get sunburnt here because of our natural pollution layer that stops the harmful sun's rays from reaching people. But if I go out into the Philippine province or to the beaches and I'm out in the sun for an hour, I turn bright red, like lobster red, like cooked lobster red. And that really sucks so yes like very very mapote i have what we call in australia the baltic tan because like that's really funny for australians you're like yeah it's like the tan of a baltic person who are like really white because it's north central europe kind of area and that's kind of where my family history is really from is from that baltic area so i have a baltic tan and i'm fairly mapote i could wear like a black apron i guess or something to like break up the color because i guess like i just like blend right in i don't know if you can even see my face right now can't do much about it so to paraphrase the great lady gaga I was born this way. Shows how well I know Lady Gaga's songs. Okay, and then the last one. Your background is out of focus. Just saying. I love when guys pick up the production errors in our show. We are using a green screen to shoot this, right? Because it's just a pain in the ass to try and shoot on the streets of Manila in an outdoor location. You always have security coming up. You're like, Bawal Yun. And you're like, what's Bawal Pare? Like having a camera. And they're like, Bawal Yun. And you're like, if I film it on a cell phone, is it okay? And they're like, yeah, because that's selfie. And they're like, okay, so if I film the same content and video on a cell phone, that's okay. But if we use a Canon 6D, that's now Bawal because it's what? It's suddenly now commercial or something? Like this is definitely not commercial, right? So we started shooting with a green screen and the first time we did it, we had like a green plant. So you just have this like, it's just a mess where the plant is. You can go back a few vlogs and you'll see it. So we have some production errors like that from time to time. So thank you for letting us know that all of my hard work in producing this show and the one thing you can call out is 
face. <laughs> you're out of focus, thanks. Well, hey, it's, it's nicer than saying you're ugly or you're a stupid Australian chef. This is actually one of my favorite comments and we are trying to get better all the time. So I find this a really constructive comment, to be honest. If you guys think we can improve easily on the production, do let me know, because we're always trying to make the show better for the audience. So that's my first set of mean comments. There's a few like quite mean ones and I think some others that are just more like confusion based or maybe they're more constructive criticism or something like that. But I read all the comments regardless and I'm always happy to hear from you guys. So if you want to leave a comment now, we do have Sunday vlogs every week now where I take just random comments from people about funny stuff, about food, about Filipino culture. Feel free to always leave a message below. Don't forget, I'm genuinely interested to see what you guys think my face looks like on a one to 10 basis. I won't be offended. Yes, I'll be offended. <laughs> no, I won't be offended. Just a little bit. I may cry in my next vlog if you all give me a one. So go for that. And of course you can check us out at our Facebook. You can subscribe to the show if you do like me and you want to give me happy comments. And even if you want to give me mean comments, I don't know why you would become a subscriber, but you're welcome to. This is a public channel, so feel free to become one of my cabano, even if all you want to tell me is that you're ugly. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye now. Was born that way, to paraphrase, is it Lady Gaga who said born that way? This way? That way? Oh, what was her other songs? Poker Face? Achaka? I don't know, Uso. Bad Romance. I don't know any of these songs. I think all the music I listened to is like from the 60s and 70s and 80s. I should probably catch up a little bit.